Chapter 1041, Awakening Translator, Sitalan Editor, Sitalan E. Yun had condensed his Tao fruit. A nine transformations red lotus propped up the nine-leaf Tao fruit, with every petal matching a Tao leaf. The symbolization of nine flower petals and nine Tao leaves could be considered perfection. However, how could the mark the peerless woman left behind appear on E. Yun's Tao fruit? Could it be that E. Yun had inherited her heritage? Even if the restricted zone had any heritage, it was bound to be extremely profound. How could a junior like E. Yun be able to gain insights into the laws left behind by the peerless woman? Neither Shi Xuanji or Demonic Eye Divine Lord could figure it out. From their point of view, even if the black dressed woman had really left behind heritage, they were the only ones qualified to receive it. And after receiving it, it was necessary for them to expend a great deal of time to gain any insight from it. At that moment, the nine flower petals had condensed into a physical form. It was a phenomenon to see a red lotus propping up a Tao fruit. It was already a miracle for a typical peerless genius to condense a nine leaf Tao fruit, but now, with Eun's last nine leaf Tao fruit, it was not only more than twice the size of an ordinary Tao fruit, it was also accompanied by the phenomena of having a nine petaled red lotus. This made people suspect that there were two nine-leaf Tao fruits fused into one. Ha ha ha! Good! Well done! Felicitous Rain Lord slashed through the bronze giant's gigantic axe beam. His azure-colored clothes were already stained red with blood. In the tempest, he had seen Eun's Tao fruits as he laughed boisterously. Primordial Chaos Laws Eun has really gained insights into it. Felicitous Rain Lord had previously suggested bringing Eun along to the Azure Wood Great World in order to allow him to pursue his own martial path. It was a way for him to act in accordance with his actual wishes. It was simply an attempt, but the chance of success was undoubtedly extremely minute. However, he never expected for Eun to succeed in gaining insights into the primordial chaos laws in such a dire situation. Eun's laws of destruction and laws of primordial chaos complemented each other. They were both the universe's great Tao of origins. Eun had merged with the divine tree and he had condensed his Tao fruits. The immense energy of the divine tree began to steadily surge into his body. Yi Yun, who had previously attempted to manifest his Tao, had easily succeeded in one fell swoop on his second attempt. The Tao fruits were hanging on the Tao tree. They were like the heavenly Tao and they could only be described by immaculate perfection. A total of four nine-leaf Tao fruits, with the Tao fruit of major destruction at the crest. The three Tao fruits beneath it formed a triangle, as though they were surrounding and protecting the Tao fruit of major destruction. Such a phenomenon of Tao fruits was something completely unheard or unseen in the 10,000 Fei Empery in heaven. Shi Xuanji felt the skin on his face constantly twitching, as though he had been ruthlessly slapped several times in the face by someone. How ludicrous was Felicitous Rain Lord's disciple! When compared to Yun, the geniuses he had nurtured in the immortal rain sect were a completely unbearable sight. Demonic Eye Divine Lord's expression was equally ugly. The geniuses of his Fae Phantasm sect were not much better than the Immortal Rain sect. But in an instant, Demonic Eye Divine Lord realized that even if Eun had displayed his magnificent talent, so what? The world they were in was about to be destroyed. So what if there are four nine-leaf Tao fruits? The Azure Wood Great World is about to be destroyed at any moment. No matter how much a genius he is, he is only at the Tao Manifestation Realm. He will still die here. Felicitous Rain, what's the point of continuing such arduous persistence? Your disciple is destined to perish. A short lived genius is not called a genius. Demonic Eye Divine Lord's words tore through the Yuan Shi storms and entered Felicitous Rain Lord's ears. Shi Xuanji revealed a sneer as well. What Demonic Eye Divine Lord said was the truth. Regardless of how astounding or spectacular Eun was, he would die here today. Felicitous Rain, come back. You can't persist any longer. If this goes on, you will be severely injured. 
you will not have any remaining strength to withstand the storms produced from the explosion of the world. There is still time if you retreat now. Although you have depleted 90% of your Yuan Qi, I will guarantee your safety. After this, return with me to the Immortal Rain Sect. That is where you belong. Where I belong? Humph. My actions have always been to have a clear conscience. Our pursuit of martial arts was always about going against the heavens. It's to blaze a way through all obstacles and to make sacrifices without any heed for safety. A martial path is forged out of thin air from impossibility. As for the both of you, all you do is scheme daily, weigh the pros and cons of everything and remain jealous of geniuses. Your martial arts is only this and nothing more. Felicitous Rain Lord said in an unbridled manner. With a loud roar, he spat a mouthful of blood essence onto his sword. I have practiced martial arts my entire life. My path exists in my heart. There is no need for the advice of others. With a sword in hand, sourcing from his intent, the three-foot passage sword slays all that is unjust. Sher Xuanji was stupefied when he saw Felicitous Rain Lord ignore the effects of burning his blood essence while charging at the bronze giant once again. Madness. This was complete madness. Although Felicitous Rain Lord had said those words in an extremely unbridled manner, he would die if he continued fighting in such a manner. The bronze giant was extremely terrifying. Rhyme Divine Lord had no relationship with Yi Yun, so all she did was partially restrain the bronze giant. More than 80% of the pressure was on Felicitous Rain Lord. A sword beam flashed as it tore through the tempest. Demonic Eye Divine Lord said with a sneer, what an impenetrable thick head. Then die with your disciple here. Let's go. Sigh. Sher Xuanji let out a long sigh. With the situation developing to that point, he could no longer stop it either. It was not worth it to risk one's life for a junior that was fated to die. However, just as Sher Xuanji retreated while Demonic Eye Divine Lord summoned the blood colored skull in preparation to stow his disciples inside, he suddenly heard a series of pleasant chimes. It was like a wind chime producing melodious tinkles in a gentle breeze. If they were in a young lady's classic boudoir, such a series of sounds would have been exceedingly normal. However, there were no gentle breezes in the land of doom known as the door to the 33 skies. With only the tempest that was annihilating the world, how could there be such a pleasant-sounding tinkle of a wind chime? Ding ding ding. The chimes that sounded as though they came from ancient times sounded once again. Even in a world that was crumbling everywhere, it could be heard clearly. At that moment, a faint halo bloomed from the tip of the divine tree. It was like the break of dawn, with the first light coming from the east, penetrating the endless darkness. The halo turned from a weak glow to an intense luminescence, it was like a roaring inferno that was consuming the firmaments. This is. At the boundary of the battlefield, an old hunched figure of a woman that looked like a withered piece of wood lay on bloodstained rubble. Her body was covered in blood and her skin had been drained of its color. There was not much life left in her. The drawn-out sounds of the chimes resounded in her ear, but to her, it sounded like the sweet music from paradise. At the moment before her death, she suddenly regained a bit of vitality as she attempted to reach out her withered palm. However, she was too weak to lift her quivering hand. All she could do was rummage the bloodstained soil. Chimes, chimes. A final indignation and obsessiveness had lingered in Granny Yin's heart. She knew that the sex canon mentioned of the result of winds blowing at the divine tree. Chimes in the door to the 33 skies would be like the music from paradise that extolled throughout the Azure Wood Great World. However, she had never heard the sound before. She once believed that the chimes would not sound again forever. But today, with her at death's doorstep, she had heard the chimes from the divine tree. She tried hard to open her eyes, in the hopes of seeing the divine tree that met the wind. However, her eyes were already blind for there was only blood in her sockets. There was no way to open them. But even so, she no longer had any regrets left. She had heard the chimes. 
The corners of her wizened mouth suffused a peaceful smile. As she listened to the melodious chimes, she fell into an eternal sleep. Was it really him? That youth had finally awoken the divine tree that had been slumbering for eons. Follow current novels on topnovelfull.com. Chapter 1042, Returning You an Ocean. Translator, C. Tullin Editor, C. Tullin. Chimes. Why are there chimes? The tinkling chimes were completely unaffected by the storm. It was baffling. Sound or not, we should be leaving. Anyone that remains will die. Yufehua looked towards the divine tree as a sinister smile suffused across the corner of his lips. What a pity that someone with four nine-leaf dao fruits would end up being buried here. Are you appeased with that? So what if you aren't? Revealing such talent only before your death would not change your destiny of never being able to develop this raw talent to its full potential. What was despair? This was it. At that moment, the huge world they were residing in was facing destruction. The rifts in the ground had already formed countless deep abysses. The sky had already shattered and the black water had dried up. Apocalyptic fumes filled everything else. In this broken world, Felicitous Rain Lord, who had just burned his blood essence, was already covered in injuries. Felicitous Rain Lord was no match for the mighty bronze giant alone. Felicitous Rain, I have to leave too, said Rhyme Divine Lord. Although she had been responsible for suppressing the bronze giant, she had also been injured, albeit slightly. With the clear indication that Felicitous Rain Lord was continuing his deathly struggle, her beautiful eyebrows pricked up. She was still baffled over the reason for Felicitous Rain Lord's persistence. Did he truly believe that Yi Yun would save the world inside the restricted zone? Your disciple is only at the Tao Manifestation Realm. Even if he is a genius, do you actually believe that he can save such a massive world? The corner of Felicitous Rain Lord's mouth was seeping with blood and he could no longer speak. His voice could only be transmitted using his Yuan Qi from his Dantian. So what if I believe him or not? He risked his life, allowing me to fight to the final moment. How can I abandon him? What if you end up being nothing but ash from your battle? Then ash I shall be. Felicitous Rain's Yuan Qi voice resounded throughout the heaven and earth. Rhyme Divine Lord's gorgeous eyes were visibly shaken when she heard those words. It was a tough and arduous process to become a Divine Lord. In the entire twelve Empyrean heavens, every Divine Lord would particularly cherish their lives. To Divine Lords, their lives were extremely valuable. Anything below a Divine Lord was an ant. She was a faithful person and she had paid a great price for her promise, but she was nothing when compared to Felicitous Rain Lord. She looked at Shir Shuanji and Demonic Eye Divine Lord, who had already escaped into the distance, before looking back at Felicitous Rain Lord. She was momentarily at a loss for the stark contrast was just too overwhelming. And at that moment, Felicitous Rain Lord's Yuan Qi voice resounded through the apocalyptic tempest in an unceasing manner. To what end do we practice martial arts for? If we can't depend on the sword, so what about death? One's true richness of heart is not to be annihilated. Felicitous Rain Lord made a prolonged bellow and with his sword in hand, conjured a torrential rain that filled the sky. Countless drops of rain interweaved through the tempest, forming a massive rain formation that filled the heaven and earth. The silhouette of his back left Rhyme Divine Lord mentally shaken. It was extremely difficult for a warrior to practice martial arts. The path of martial arts was an act of defiance against the heavens. Just as Felicitous Rain Lord had said, if one could not overpower the heaven and earth, what use was practicing martial arts for? To fight for one's belief and not for one's interest that was the martial path a warrior should take. It was also the path that Felicitous Rain Lord had chosen. Felicitous Rain Lord had reached the level of a Divine Lord at a young age. His future was limitless and not all of this was dependent on his talent, it was also reliant on his determined mindset for martial arts. 
Felicitas Rainlord's battle was not only for a Yun but also a proof of his conviction towards the pursuit of martial arts. But even so, it was unlikely that anything could be changed. Was a generation's proud son of heaven about to perish here? While Rhyme Divine Lord ruminated, the chimes from before turned increasingly clear at that moment. It was like the shriek of a phoenix that penetrated straight to the peak of the firmaments. These chimes? Rhyme Divine Lord faltered for a moment. She had heard the chimes previously, but she did not know what it represented. But now, the chimes had overwhelmed the crescendo of the destruction of the world, striking straight into her heart. At that moment, the massive divine tree began to tremble gently. Rhyme Divine Lord looked at the divine tree as she felt that some form of energy was gradually awakening in the deepest depths of the land where the tree's root network was. This is. Rhyme Divine Lord widened her beautiful eyes as she stared intently at a moving tree root that was the thickness of a mountain. Boom! 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 A large amount of rock shattered as mud poured down like a waterfall. A divine root had finally woken up from hundreds of millions of years of slumber. Boom! The land quaked, swinging the mountains along with it. The gigantic root was like a dragon that had been lying dormant in the land as it thrust itself ruthlessly at the bronze giant. This strike was enough to rend the heaven and earth asunder. The bronze giant's aloof expression changed for the first time. He glared at the divine root with a solemn expression. Roar! The bronze giant let out a terrifying roar as he sent the heavily injured Felicitous Rain Lord back a thousand feet in order to face the hefty root of the divine tree. With his enormous bronze axe, he cleaved forcefully at the divine root. Boom! 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 A terrifying impact seemed to tear apart at everything. Dozens of metallic chains suddenly turned taut from the impact as they produced tumultuous clanging sounds. A terrifying blast of energy emanated in every direction from the impact. Demonic Eye Divine Lord, who had felt safe after retreating a great distance away, was alarmed. Could it be that the divine tree had been awoken? How could it be possible? Bam! 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 Beside Demonic Eye Divine Lord, his blood-colored skull trembled violently. In just an instance, the skull had suffered a heavy blow from the energy shockwave. It was nearly torn apart by the immense energy. This made Demonic Eye Divine Lord feel incredulous. This was just an aftershock, but it was so powerful. What would happen if one was directly hit by the Divine Root? And at that moment, Demonic Eye Divine Lord had already seen the Divine Root strike a second time after deflecting the Bronze Axe. Its speed was stifling fast. Even the mighty bronze giant could not defend against the second strike in such a short period of time. Boom! The strike from the divine tree made a direct hit on the bronze giant's back. It ripped apart his skin and shattered his vertebrae. With a muffled grunt, his body took a few steps back, with each fracturing the ground. Black blood began spewing out of the bronze giant's body like a black torrential rain. Felicitous Rain Lord was stunned when he saw the scene. In the distance, Sher Shuanji and Demonic Eye Divine Lord were left even more dumbfounded. They were certain of a single thing. The Divine Tree had really awoken. Yi Yun had awoken it? With his Tao Manifestation Realm cultivation, he had managed to awaken the world-astounding Divine Tree that had been slumbering for hundreds of millions of years? Rhyme Divine Lord experienced shock piled on top of shock. Felicitous Rain Lord had risked his life to create an opportunity for Yi Yun, and the latter had really managed to grasp it. Yi Yun really did it. His cultivation level was indeed insufficient at awakening the Divine Tree. However, he managed to fuse with the Tao of Primordial Chaos in such a short period of time, producing a nine-leaf destruction Tao fruit breaking through to the Tao Manifestation Realm in one shot. He then managed to shake the world with the Divine Tree. Rhyme Divine Lord failed to calm her stormy feelings despite taking several deep breaths. There were too many warriors that acted in bad faith. Few people showed valor and passion. 
Felicitous Rain Lord had managed to do it, while his disciple had really evolved into a dragon from a golden carp after the encountering of a storm. Felicitous Rain Lord had given Yi Yun a river, but Yi Yun had returned him an ocean. Chapter 1043 Covetous Intentions Translator, Sitalan Editor, Sitalan The Divine Tree has been awoken. Yi Yun, you have truly given me a pleasant surprise. Ha ha ha! Felicitous Rain Lord broke out into a boisterous laughter in the sky. He was feeling elated because he believed that it was likely for Yi Yun to perish in the door to the 33 skies. He had never expected Yi Yun to awaken the Divine Tree at the final, crucial moment. Boom! On the lands beneath him, an entire mountain cliff had collapsed. As people stared at it intently, they realized that it was not a mountain, but a second divine root covered by rock. It rose up into the sky and struck the bronze giant. Two divine roots began striking the bronze giant from both sides with the might of the heaven and earth. Rumble! Like a divine dragon thrashing its tail, all the impact landed on the bronze giant's massive back that resembled a vast plane. It sent the bronze giant flying out. The giant, who was a few hundred kilometers tall, could easily send the combined forces of four divine lords in retreat despite having most of its strength sealed by the chains. But now, he had been sent flying by the humongous divine roots. Clang! Dozens of chains tightened simultaneously as the bronze giant grunted in a deep tone. The parts of his body that had been tethered to the chains had been mangled into a bloody mess. The ends of these chains were embedded deep into his bones, and with the forceful tug, his body began to convulse as he spat out a mouthful of black blood. The bronze giant fell heavily to the ground, flattening a large swath of a mountain range. The divine tree's roots began to extend out from underground and like an orderly chain, it wrapped the bronze giant in layers. Roar! The bronze giant let out an angry bellow of disgruntlement. He grabbed the gigantic axe that had fallen to the ground and cleaved at the divine root once again. The bronze giant's might was formidable, so a single divine root was cleaved into two with a single strike of his axe, but at that moment. Shoo! 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 More and more roots drilled out from underground, and soon, the plane of despair was destroyed. Amongst the countless tree roots that began wrapping around the bronze giant, some had a girth that resembled a mountain, while others were as thin as a human's arm. The bronze giant's muscles bulged as veins protruded. It was as astounding as a roaring river. Despite having used a strength that was sufficient to destroy a star, he was still unable to extricate himself from the roots. Rumble! With a loud crackle, the ground split open. The bronze giant was dragged down into the ground by the divine roots along with the chains that were tethered to him. Regardless of his frantic struggles, his body continued to sink into the land. Finally, he was completely buried underground. Rumble! With the quaking ground's tumultuous rumbles, the land closed up once again, burying the bronze giant completely. It was over. Everyone was extremely surprised that despite being extremely powerful, the bronze giant was eventually sealed by the divine tree's roots before being dragged underground. People had previously believed that they were in a crumbling world which could not withstand the energy blasts from the battle between the divine roots and the bronze giant. However, they never expected that while the divine roots launched one attack after another, the world that was on the brink of destruction was gradually slowing down its collapse. Now, the shocking land had slowly mended the cracks in the ground, while the tempest gradually weakened to a halt. The entire world instantly turned a lot more peaceful. The Azure Wood Great World, which was on the brink of destruction, had apparently been saved. It was truly impressive that the Divine Tree could hold down a world and abate its destruction. Ha ha ha! Demonic Eye Divine Lord suddenly broke out into laughter. He no longer had the thought of escaping on his mind. The destruction of a great world was a calamity for him after all. Although he was confident of surviving it, the Azure Wood Great World was a very strange world. It had the Divine Tree, the Bronze Giant, and it was supposedly connected to something known as the 33 Skies. 
Only the heavens would know what mishaps could happen during the collapse of such a world. It was obviously best if he did not need to experience it. Felicitous Rain Lord, that disciple of yours truly has some skill. He actually managed to awaken the divine tree. Demonic Eye Divine Lord was standing on the blood-colored skull as he slowly flew toward Felicitous Rain Lord. Indeed, indeed. I'm surprised as well. He did not squander the risk I had undertaken to create an opportunity for him, said Shir Shuanji as he flew over too. The two had deserted during battle, but now, with the bronze giant subdued and the world no longer collapsing, there was naturally no reason for them to flee. Upon seeing Shir Shuanji and Demonic Eye Divine Lord, Rhyme Divine Lord raised her elegant eyebrows. The duo was truly thick-skinned. They had previously fled at such a rapid pace, but now, with everything safe, they actually came back all smiles. It was as though the ones that had fled weren't them. Rhyme Divine Lord was a person who abhorred injustice. Just as she wanted to mock the two old fogies. Boom! 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 The ground experienced gentle tremors once again. It changed everyone's expression slightly. Rhyme Divine Lord was unable to deride them at that moment as she said with a solemn expression, it looks like, that bronze giant has not been vanquished. He is only trapped underground and he is still struggling. She could sense the pulsations from deep underground that came one wave after another. Like a surging sea tide, every wave stirred her blood flow. The bronze giant has been trapped for hundreds of millions of years, yet he still possesses such a powerful life force. The divine tree can only temporarily imprison him, but in that case, there might be a day when he will escape. It's not that it's impossible, but I believe that even if it were to happen, there is no way to know how many years more it will be, said Sher Shuanji as he stroked his beard. He was not worried because he could sense that the bronze giant was clearly being repressed by the divine tree. Old man Sher is right. Demonic Eye Divine Lord stroked his chin as he looked at the core of the divine tree as a strange glint flashed in his eyes. It would be great if the divine tree and the bronze giant could be subdued by him. Just extracting a bit of the tree's essence would be sufficient for the refinement of an elixir or enchanted artifact. If the divine tree and the bronze giant were used as guardians of the Fey Phantasm sect, they would ensure a prosperous future for the sect for hundreds of millions of years. Of course, those were only wild thoughts. Scheming for the divine tree or the bronze giant was completely impossible, but if he schemed against Di Yun, who had entered the restricted zone. Many thoughts flashed through demonic eye divine lord's mind. He glanced at Shir Shuanji and noticed that he was also looking at the divine tree's restricted zone where Yun was. He was similarly pondering over something. Ignoring the possible heritage left behind by the black-dressed woman, just the nebulous primordial chaos was enough to cause divine lords to come to blows. If the 10,000 Fey Empery in heaven were to know that Yi Yun had obtained real nebulous primordial chaos in the restricted zone, many divine lords might end up swarming here like bees in a bid to capture a wisp of the nebulous primordial chaos for study. Not only could nebulous primordial chaos be refined into artifacts or used as supreme treasures to temper one's body, there was also an opportunity to gain insights into the Tao of primordial chaos. That would be an impressive opportunity. Felicitous Rain, the divine tree has already been awakened. Why isn't your disciple coming out? Sher Shuanji suddenly asked. Top credit goes to Yi Yun for the preservation of the Azure Wood Great World. Furthermore, he has broken through to the Tao Manifestation Realm and he condensed so many nine-leaf Tao fruits. He has also obtained a great life-changing experience. Now that he's in the restricted zone, who knows what the situation is in there. Let's go and see how he is. As Demonic Eye Divine Lord spoke, a teasing smile suffused at the corners of his lips as he swept Felicitous Rain Lord with a glance. At that moment, Felicitous Rain Lord was covered in serious injuries. He had less than 10% of his Yuan Qi, so he posed no threat. Chapter 1044 The Miracle in the Stone House Translator, C. Tullin Editor, C. Tullin. At that moment inside the Divine Tree's restricted zone, Eun's body was swathed in a greenish halo. 
An indescribable spiritual and ethereal aura suffused through his entire being, as though he would return to the land of immortals with the wind. Yuingsha and Shu He were still outside the Chaos Stonehouse, but they had sensed the tremendous change in Yian's aura. It was not simply increased, but it had undergone a qualitative leap. This leap made Yuingsha even have a feeling that Yi Yun was about to ascend to become immortal. Yi Yun must have manifested his Tao already. Yuingsha could not see Yi Yun's Tao tree projection, but she had a vague guess that Yi Yun's Tao manifestation was likely extraordinary. At that moment, an immense blast of energy suddenly spewed out from the ground like a fountain. It surged into Yi Yun's body, and as he was inundated by the energy, his muscles, bone, and flesh seemed to turn transparent. As the energy surged up along the divine tree's root network, Yuingsha saw a faint halo rising up from the ground. Soon, the light gushed beneath Yi Yun's feet. The divine tree's root network transported energy to its main trunk, and since Yi Yun was merged with the divine tree, the energy surged through his body. And at that instant, a primordial aura of immensity burst out from Yi Yun's body suddenly. The clear chimes were still resounding throughout the restricted zone. At that moment, Yi Yun gradually opened his eyes. His eyes were bright and profound. During the process of merging with the divine tree, Yi Yun's perception had extended to the divine tree's every leaf. Through it, he could sense the entire world. He had seen everything that had happened in the door to the 33 skies, including Felicitous Rain Lord's bloody but valiant battle. He had also seen Shir Shuanji and Demonic Eye Divine Lord desert the fight. He had also perceived the restricted zone clearly, as well as everything inside the stone house that was constructed from chaos stones. This stone house. Ian's mind stirred as he was surprised to find a great plot of land in the backyard of the stone house. It was likely a tiny herbal garden. Yi Yun was rather excited when he first discovered the herbal garden. He believed that he might find some herbs, but soon, he was left disappointed. It might have had herbs planted in the past, but all of them had withered by now. After hundreds of millions of years, without anyone tending to them, any spiritual plant would die. Just thinking of it ached Yi Yun's heart. Such a miraculous ground with more than a hundred million years would have resulted in heaven-defying herbs. Just the thought of it could drive people into a frenzy. But now, the herbal plants had turned to dust and they had returned to land. It did nothing but advantage the gray soil. After absorbing so much spiritual energy from the spiritual herbs, it was unknown how incredibly fertile the soil was. Yi Yun was even considering if he should take a bit of the soil for the cultivation of herbs. Just as he was thinking of that, he exclaimed lightly as he suddenly discovered that the gray soil was in no way ordinary. The feeling the soil gave was identical to the chaos stones of the stone house. After a detailed sifting through the soil, Yi Yun had even seen tiny chaos stone particulate. Could it be that someone had ground chaos stones into powder and added some fertilizer to eventually transform chaos stones into soil? Could it even be possible that the spiritual herbs which had withered and rotted had become fertilizer for the soil? Upon realizing this, Yi Yun held his breath. How impressive was that? Perhaps only the black-dressed woman was capable of doing such things. However, it was such a pity that such a good herbal garden had been left to waste for hundreds of millions of years. Yi Yun could not help but investigate the herbal garden. If it were any other time, the sand that was ground from chaos stones was not something Yi Yun could probe. Chaos stones screened all perception so even a divine lord was unable to probe the internals of a chaos. Stone However, having merged with the divine tree, Yi Yun's perception could probe within. And the probe left Yi Yun astonished. He saw a lush green ball buried deep inside the gray herbal garden. It was about the size of a peach core and its surface was not smooth. Instead, it was patterned like a peach core and the patterns were formed with an indescribable auric charm. What gave Yi Yun a greater pleasant surprise was that there was a large amount of gray gas gathered inside the tiny ball. After making contact with chaos laws, Yi Yun was certain that the gray gas was the nebulous primordial chaos. Back when Yi Yun broke through to the Tao manifestation realm, 
he had already absorbed a portion of the nebulous primordial chaos, but now, he discovered that in the tiny ball, the amount of nebulous primordial chaos contained within was more than ten times what he had absorbed. Nebulous primordial chaos was absolutely rare in the ten thousand Fey empery in heaven. Even divine lords would covet it. If a tiny amount of nebulous primordial chaos was infused during the refinement of a treasure, it would increase the grade of the treasure by several grades. But in fact, almost no one would be willing to use nebulous primordial chaos for the refinement of artifacts. If they tempered the nebulous primordial chaos into their body, fusing their flesh and blood with the nebulous primordial chaos, it would result in an unimaginable increase in strength. What was this peach core? Why had it condensed so much nebulous primordial chaos? As Yi Yun pondered over the questions, he carefully observed it. He realized that it contained the same aura as the divine tree that held up the azure wood great world. Could it be? A thought flashed through Yi Yun's mind. It was a suffocating thought for he came to a realization that the peach core could very likely be a seed born from the world tree. Everything had its birth and end. The universe was no different, therefore, the divine tree also had a birth and end. After experiencing the immense river of time, it would eventually die. And this seed was likely the new life of its future. A seed produced by the divine tree that could hold up a world was grown in the herbal garden. With chaos stone powder as soil and rotten hundred million year old spiritual herbs as fertilizer. Its value was completely unimaginable. Yi Yun was momentarily stunned. If that was the case, it was definitely the most heaven-defying treasure other than the purple crystal which he had even seen ever since he began practicing martial arts. Yi Yun could not help but touch the herbal garden soil. At that moment, Yuing Sha and Chu He were still outside the stone house and they did not know what Yi Yun was doing. The nutrients in the soil appear to have been absorbed clean by the divine tree's seed. The divine herbs that had withered here had long devoted its essence to the divine tree's seed. Even the primordial chaos essence contained within the soil made out of chaos stone powder had been gathered by the divine tree seed. If the seed continued staying in the herbal garden, it was unlikely it could mature. Yi Yun took a deep breath as he shook his head. He gently swept away the soil that had its nutrients drained. Then, he realized that his bloodline seemed to be connected to the divine tree seed that was buried deep within the soil. Oh! Yi Yun swept aside some more soil and then, without Yi Yun needing to do anything further, the divine tree seed had taken the initiative to push the soil aside and float out of the soil before landing slowly in Yi Yun's palm. Yi Yun was astonished as he held the seed. He realized that the seed was willing to stay close to him likely because of his act of awakening the divine tree and the possession of an aura that was mutually similar to the divine tree. Perhaps, he could bring the divine tree seed away. Upon thinking of that, Yi Yun experienced mental undulations. Yi Yun would not have taken it away if the divine tree seed could mature in the herbal garden. It would affect the growth of such a divine item if it was taken away too early. But the present situation was completely different. The ground was already infertile, and the divine tree seed had taken the initiative to follow him. This was totally an unparalleled opportunity for him. Yi Yun held the divine tree seed with both his hands meticulously with extreme focus. He felt that the seed was the world's most perfect item. Perhaps only the purple crystal and its profoundness exceeded the seed. Just as Yun was admiring the seed, he suddenly felt a cold killing intent. Oh! Yun's turned apprehensive. His perception was fused with the divine tree, so he knew that the killing intent came from outside the restricted zone. Yun glanced over and immediately wrinkled his brows. He saw Shir Shuanji and Demonic Eye Divine Lord standing at the cave entrance outside the restricted zone. They were thinking of ways to enter. Although they had ordinary expressions, there was a clear covetous glint in their eyes. Chapter 1045, Sneak Attack Translator, Cetullin Editor, Cetullin Oh! The restricted zone is sealed shut. As Shir Shuanji looked at the entrance to the restricted zone, 
he realized that the restricted zone was a completely sealed off world, making it extremely difficult to crack it open. Demonic Eye Divine Lord stroked his chin as he considered the entry options available to him. He knew that the restricted zone was remarkable, but after hundreds of millions of years, many array formations would lose their energy provisions and weaken. It was not necessarily impossible for him to gain entry. Sure, Shuanji. Demonic Eye. Felicitous Rain Lord's face sunk when he saw the scene unfolding before him. Previously, the duo had taken on a doubtful and obstructive stance on Eian's entry into the restricted zone. Later on, they had fled the battle with the bronze giant. They had not expended any of their strength, but now, with the bronze giant sealed again and the danger alleviated, the duo was back again. Their motives were obvious. When Eian broke through to the Tao manifestation realm, the duo had seen him use nebulous primordial chaos to condense his Tao fruit. Demonic Eye Divine Lord said with a sinister smile, Felicitous Rain, what's the panic? We are only concerned about your disciples' situation. The door to the 33 skies is so strange and your disciples' cultivation level is so low. Having him inside the restricted zone without any guardians could have him suffer mishaps. If there's any danger, we will be able to save him in a timely fashion. Disparage, disparage the heavily injured, felicitous Rain Lord. At that moment, Rhine Divine Lord said, Demonic Eye, I've seen shameless people, but I've never seen someone as shameless as you. The reason why we can stand here so safely is all because of Eelan and Felicitous Rain's efforts. Are you planning on burning bridges? Rhyme Divine Lord's voice was cold and austere. She was infuriated over the shameless behavior of Demonic Eye Divine Lord and Sher Shuanji as well. Demonic Eye Divine Lord glanced at Rhyme Divine Lord and said with a teasing tone, Fairy Rhyme, you are injured too, right? Calm down, or your injuries might give you a lash back. Rhyme Divine Lord had indeed been injured while fighting alongside Felicitous Rain Lord. Upon hearing Demonic Eye Divine Lord's unmarred threat, her expression turned cold as she said, Demonic Eye, you plan on fighting? Hee <laughs> hee, why are you so angry? We are still not out of peril yet. Let's enter the restricted zone and see E Yun's situation first. As Demonic Eye Divine Lord said that, he no longer bothered with her and began to study the restricted zone's entrance. Divine Lords were people that stood at the upper echelons of the 10,000 Fei Empire in heaven after all. Their insights and techniques were all extraordinary. Sher Shuanji was especially well-versed in array techniques, so he was very confident. As for the restricted zone, despite it being impressive, Sher Shuanji still had certain ideas that could work considering the long amount of time that had passed. Xie. 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 Dao patterns flew out from Sher Shuanji's hand as he attempted to crack the array. He was in no way worried about Yi Yun. From Sher Shuanji's point of view, the process in which the divine tree sealed the bronze giant may have rendered the heaven and earth asunder, but the divine tree was the divine tree while Yi Yun was Yi Yun. Although Yi Yun had awoken the divine tree, sealing the bronze giant was the divine tree's mission. It had nothing to do with Yi Yun. Sher Shuanji. Felicitous Rain Lord was incensed. Just as he wanted to move forward to stop him, Demonic Eye Divine Lord, who was standing behind Sher Shuanji, suddenly turned around and struck out with his palm. Who? 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 More than 10,000 ghastly shadows burst out behind Demonic Eye Divine Lord as his palm transformed into a gigantic ghostly claw. The claw swiped at Felicitous Rain Lord. This strike was tumultuous and extremely fast. Clearly, Demonic Eye Divine Lord was already prepared to sneak an attack on Felicitous Rain Lord. At that moment, Felicitous Rain Lord was already severely injured and he had burned his blood essence. It was extremely difficult for him to withstand a strike from Demonic Eye Divine Lord, who was in perfect condition. Phew! At that split instant, a blue ribbon band flew out and struck the ghastly claw. Rhyme Divine Lord had attacked. Boom! The ghastly claw and the blue ribbon band clashed, but they were unequal. On one side, it was a prepared attack while the other was a reactionary response. 
Furthermore, Rhyme Divine Lord was injured so the clash deflected the blue ribbon band as the ghastly claw came to a slight halt before continuing its trajectory toward Felicitous Rain Lord. Want my life? Not that simple. Killing intent appeared in Felicitous Rain Lord's eyes. Although he had less than 10% of his Yuan Chi left, he still had his blood essence. He burned his blood essence once again and a dazzling luster bloomed from the sword in his hand. The sword conjured the power of time. As though it was severing time itself, it struck the ghostly claw. Sha! The ghostly claw was torn apart but Felicitous Rainlord's sword beam had shattered as well. He was exhausted after all. The violent blast sent his body flying backward a few hundred feet. His face turned pale as fresh blood seeped out from the corners of his mouth. Felicitous Rain Lord's injuries had been aggravated. With such serious injuries, it was likely to affect his future achievements. Pa! 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 Demonic Eye Divine Lord began clapping. Impressive! Impressive! Felicitous Rain, you indeed live up to your reputation. Despite such severe injuries with less than 10% of your combat strength left, you were still able to withstand my attack. I thought that strike could have almost killed you. At that moment, Sher Xuanji stopped his attempts at cracking the array. He was unaware that Demonic Eye Divine Lord would suddenly sneak an attack. Demonic Eye, aren't you going overboard? Sher Xuanji still did not wish for Felicitous Rain Lord to die. Oomph. Old man Xuanji, do still hold hopes that Felicitous Rain will return to your immortal rain sect? Stop being naive. You have already terribly offended him today. By deserting the battle and by having nefarious thoughts about his disciple, it would be pretty impressive if Felicitous Rain doesn't wipe out your immortal rain sect. As for that punk, Yi Yun, he has condensed four nine leaf Dao fruits. His future is completely unimaginable. What we have done today will form a grudge he has against us. In order to prevent revenge to be sought on us, we naturally have to curb any future troubles. As for Felicitous Rain, he is our obstruction. By not killing Felicitous Rain while he is injured, are we to wait for him to recover from his injuries and allow him to come charging at our doorstep? Demonic Eye Divine Lord's words made Sher Xuanji fall silent. He knew that what Demonic Eye Divine Lord said was very likely to happen. He said in a solemn tone, Felicitous Rain, if you were to swear on the heavenly Tao and are willing to return to the immortal rain sect, never to betray the sect, I can guarantee the safety of you and your disciple. Of course, your disciple has to return to the immortal rain sect as well. Furthermore, he has to swear on the heavenly Tao. As for the nebulous primordial chaos he received, he should split it. It is extremely hard for nebulous primordial chaos to be put to good use in the hands of a junior at the Tao manifestation realm. Sher Xuanji did not want Demonic Eye to be the vanguard. It would be the best outcome if he could take the opportunity today to urge Felicitous Rain Lord's return. However, the nebulous primordial chaos was something Sher Xuanji was bent on receiving. It could even push him another stage further. Ha ha ha! Felicitous Rain Lord roared with laughter. Sher Xuanji! Stop leading the life of a whore and expect a monument for your chastity. I, Felicitous Rain, shall stand here. You can kill me if you want, but as a result, I promise you that even if I'm emptied of my blood essence, I will absolutely make you be relieved of a layer of skin. As Felicitous Rain Lord spoke, his eyes revealed an awe inspiring killing intent. He was not someone who feared for his life. That was his martial path. Upon hearing Felicitous Rain Lord's words, Sher Xuanji's expression sunk immediately. He he he, old man Xuanji, you are still bent on wasting your efforts here. What did I say? It's already an irreconcilable situation. Stop being a hypocrite and attack. As Demonic Eye Divine Lord spoke, he took a large stride forward as black demonic flames burned from his body. Chapter 1046, Desperate Struggle Translator, Sitalan Editor, Sitalan Demonic Eye Divine Lord, who was covered in burning demonic eyes, 
was twice as strong compared to the time he fought the bronze giant. Back then, he had been conserving his strength, but now, he naturally could attack Felicitas Rain Lord with all he had. Seeing the situation get out of hand, Rhyme Divine Lord's expression turned stern. She wanted to be on Felicitas Rain Lord's side, but she knew all too well how likely she would perish if she did so. Fairy Rhyme, I appreciate your thoughts. At that moment, Felicitas Rain Lord's Yuan Qi transmission rang in Rhyme Divine Lord's ears. I am extremely grateful that you are considering to help me but I cannot implicate you. If it's possible, find a chance to escape the door to the 33 skies with my disciple. Outside, my maidservant, Shui Ningxuang, will receive him. You can hand Yi Yun over to her, and I, Felicitas Rain, will remember the favor. Not everyone could risk their lives for strangers out of principle and neither did Felicitas Rainlord wish for others to sacrifice themselves for him. With the present situation, even by joining forces with Rhyme Divine Lord, it was impossible to defeat the combined forces of Shur Xuanji and Demonic Eye Divine Lord. It was more hopeful to get Rhyme Divine Lord to save Yi Yun. Felicitas Rain, I promise you that even if there's a silver of chance, I will risk my life to save Yi Yun. As Rhyme Divine Lord said those words, she felt melancholic. Was a talent like Felicitas Rain going to perish here? At that moment, Yi Yun was feeling extremely anxious in the restricted zone. He was aware of what was happening outside and that his master was in grave danger. Felicitas Rain Lord was no match for the combined forces of two divine lords even if he was in his best condition, much less now. Yi Yun was greatly indebted to Felicitas Rain Lord so he could not turn a blind eye toward the attempted murder. His cultivation level was still low, so he was completely no match for Demonic Eye Divine Lord and Shur Xuanji. The only possibility he had was to borrow the Divine Tree's strength. Divine Tree, Divine Tree Yi Yun interfaced his mind with the Divine Tree's roots. Although he felt that his thoughts had fused with the Divine Tree, it did not mean that Yi Yun could control the Divine Tree to act as he pleased. The Divine Tree could almost be considered a god spirit. As for Yi Yun, he was only a junior at the Tao Manifestation Realm. It was unimaginable for someone at the Tao Manifestation Realm to control a god spirit. No matter how much he injected his will into the Divine Tree, Yi Yun was unable to receive any response. The divine tree had sealed the bronze giant only out of instinct. What should I do? Yi Yun began to panic. Felicitas Rain Lord's life was on the line, but he had not accomplished anything. At that moment, Yi Yun's mind lit up in a flash of brilliance. He looked at the divine tree seed in his hand. Perhaps. In such a dire situation, Yi Yun ignored everything else as he swallowed the divine tree seed. He did not eat the divine tree seed, but instead, he had attempted to fuse with the divine tree seed. Phew! Under Yi Yun's control, the divine tree seed tunneled into his dantian. Upon entry, it immediately sank into his Yuan foundation. The divine tree seed had surprisingly fused with Yi Yun's Tao tree. It made his dantian burn as though it was about to explode. The next moment, Ian felt that the seed was like a bottomless vortex. It sucked all his Yuan Qi, mental energy, will, and lifeblood. Under such circumstances, it would only be a matter of seconds before Yun was sucked dry. He was alarmed, but at that moment, he steeled his heart and gave up resisting the suction. He allowed the divine tree seed to suck all that he had. At that critical moment, he could only choose to trust the divine tree seed and leave the rest to fate. Boom! Outside the restricted zone, Shershuanji and Demonic Eye Divine Lord had jointly launched a fatal strike on Felicitas Rain Lord. Shershuanji's eyes flashed coldly. All these years, he had been attempting to get Felicitas Rain Lord to return to the immortal rain sect. He had already lost his patience after countless failures. With him determined to obtain the nebulous primordial chaos today, Shur Xuanji had finally decided to kill him. Felicitas Rain, your betrayal of the sect has been tolerated by me all these years. Today, I'll rid the scourge of my sect and let you die under the Nine Heavens Rain Annihilation Array. 
The Nine Heavens Rain Annihilation Array was the number one combat array formation of the Immortal Rain Sect. At the Realm of Divine Lord, it could be completely powered by a single person. As for Felicitous Rain Lord, he had left the Immortal Rain Sect at a young age, so with his low cultivation back then, he had yet to learn the combat array. Betray the sect? Rid the scourge? Ha ha ha. Sure Shwanji. I truly despise you. At this point in time, you are still spewing such hypocritical words. Even if you kill me today, I'll make you pay the price. In the future, your immortal rain sect will be vanquished. Courting death. Sure Shwanji was enraged as he brandished the sword in his hand, causing rumbles. Countless dark clouds enshrouded the lands as a rain of annihilation that had gathered the power of the heaven and earth poured down. Even the world of the door to the 33 skies that had stabilized began to quake because of the rain of annihilation. Felicitous Rain Lord brandished his sword as well. Swish. A brilliant sword beam tore through the world. At that moment, Felicitous Rain Lord was burning life force. He was prepared to die in battle. Rumble. The brilliant sword beam struck the screen of rain that blotted out the sky directly. As Felicitous Rain Lord's long hair flared, he gave up any form of defense as he only attacked. The sword in his hand came straight for Shur Shuanji's head. He was prepared for an internecine outcome. At that moment, a sinister laugh suddenly rang in Felicitous Rain Lord's ears. Felicitous Rain, my sixth streak blood banner happens to be short of a main soul. Be my main soul after your death. With a Divine Lord main soul, my sixth streak blood banner's strength will be enhanced by ten times. Demonic Eye Divine Lord roared with laughter. In the middle of his forehead, a purple ghostly eye opened. In his hand was dark red six streak blood banner. It had been formed through the slaughtering of a billion lives, some warriors, some commoners, some fey, and some humans. These billion souls were held in the blood banner and by taking the banner out, specters began to spread out everywhere. On one side was the reign of annihilation while on the other side, there were endless wailing specters. Felicitous Rain Lord was stuck in the middle with no room to escape. Felicitous Rain, this is your end. Demonic Eye Divine Lord had summoned 800 million specters at a go. It was a strike that was determined to complete its mission. Just as the 800 million specters were about to devour Felicitous Rain Lord, an immense sense of danger inundated him. Ha! Huh? Demonic Eye Divine Lord was alarmed as it was a feeling that his life was on the line. Without even thinking, he quickly retreated. So, with an ear-piercing reverberation, a shadow that resembled a black WYRM struck out like a whip. It was as fast as lightning. Pa! A tumultuous explosion was heard as the black shadow struck Demonic Eye Divine Lord's blood banner. It shook violently as wanton energy leaked out of it. With a grunt, Demonic Eye Divine Lord was sent flying. As for the 800 million specters that had been released from the blood banner, nearly half of them had been destroyed by the explosive strike. Woo 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 woo! The specters wailed with dreary cries. Instantly, the heaven and earth were filled with sinister energies that dissipated due to the evisceration of the spirits. What? At that moment, Demonic Eye Divine Lord was completely left dumbfounded. He had spent a million years to complete the refinement of the Sixth Street Blood Banner. It was his intrinsic enchanted treasure. If a powerful main soul was added to it, the power of the Blood Banner would be unimaginable. However, his enchanted treasure had its power halved from a single strike of the Black Shadow? Instantly, fury overwhelmed Demonic Eye Divine Lord. With his intrinsic enchanted treasure damaged and the backlash of energy, he immediately spat a mouthful of blood. Who? Demonic Eye Divine Lord cast his gaze over as he discerned the black shadow to be a gigantic tree root. The tree root had dissipated his blood banner's specters. The tree root did not lose its momentum. When it flew in front of Felicitous Rain Lord, countless root filaments spread out and formed a solid wall. Boom! 
Right after Shushuanji's Nine Heavens Rain Annihilation Array clashed with Felicitas Rain Lord's strike that was produced at the cost of burning his life, the remaining energy surged to the Wall of Roots and exploded. Countless raindrops that were filled with killing intent exploded onto the root wall, turning into boundless vapor. Chapter 1047, All Powerful Translator, C. Tullin Editor, C. Tullin. What's going on? An alarmed Shir Shuanji chose to retreat immediately. He noticed that when the Nine Heavens Rain Annihilation Array that he was always proud of struck the Wall of Roots, a large number of roots were severed. However, these torn roots were regrown and restored in a blink of an eye. In a few seconds, the roots had been restored to their original state. The Divine Tree's roots are protecting Felicitous Rain. How is that possible? Sure Shuanji muttered to himself. The Divine Tree was a paragon existence. It was a god spirit of a world that had managed to repress the bronze giant and slow down the destruction of the Azure Wood Great World. How could such a god spirit take the initiative to save Felicitous Rain Lord? Sure Shuanji obviously refused to believe that Felicitous Rain Lord was anyone special. The only possibility was Yi Yun. He had made the Divine Tree save Felicitous Rain. Yi Yun could control the Divine Tree? Upon realizing that point, Sir Xuanji's heart chilled. How could a junior at the Tao Manifestation Realm control the Divine Tree? Just as Sir Xuanji was pondering over the turn of events, the Divine Root had once again hurled itself at him. The Divine Tree's attacks were only simple lashings. However, the way it attacked inflicted pressure on Sir Xuanji. Dodge. Sir Xuanji did not wish to clash with the Divine Tree. He dodged at an extremely fast speed, allowing the strike to hit the ground. Boom! The ground tore apart and was instantly reduced to a valley. Upon seeing this scene, everyone was dumbfounded from shock. Yi Yun was controlling the Divine Tree to aid Felicitous Rain Lord. Felicitous Rain, your disciple is certainly amazing. Rhyme Divine Lord was extremely shocked. It was a battle between Divine Lords that she was powerless against. Yi Yun, a junior, had managed to budge into a battle between Divine Lords, influencing the battle situation. Regardless of what strength he had borrowed, it was probably unprecedented. That little bastard destroyed my blood banner. I will definitely extract your soul and refine it into the blood banner and then rip your body into a million pieces, lashed out demonic eye divine lord as he leaped. There was blood still seeping from the corners of his mouth while the six streak blood banner in his hand had lost a great deal of its power. Eon's strike had nearly halved his blood banner's might and it would take a few hundred thousand years to restore it through a refinement process. But despite being incensed, he did not dare approach the divine root. So, the divine root curled at demonic eye divine lord. Although he had just uttered vicious words, his heart shuddered when facing the divine tree. Without putting up any form of resistance, he kept the six streak blood banner and fled in a sorry manner. He was afraid that his intrinsic enchanted treasure would suffer another mishap. Boom! After being somewhat prepared, demonic eye divine lord managed to barely dodge the divine root's pursuit. Its attack speed isn't that terrifying. Demonic Eye Divine Lord quickly discovered that despite the Divine Root possessing indomitable strength, it had a weakness of having a slow attack speed. Yes. The Divine Tree is controlled by that little bastard after all. What is his cultivation level at? How fast can his reaction be? No matter how powerful the Divine Tree is, it would be a waste in his hands. Upon realizing this point, Demonic Eye Divine Lord became relieved. Old Man Xuanji, let's join forces. Yi Yun can't hit us at all. Furthermore, I refuse to believe he doesn't pay a price while controlling the Divine Tree. He might not be able to last long. Demonic Eye Divine Lord's Yuan Qi transmission rang in Shir Xuanji's ears. Shir Xuanji's heart stirred as he said with a nod, that's right. How can the power of the Divine Tree be controlled by any ordinary person? It's likely that this punk has paid quite a non-trivial price. Having realized this salient point, 
Sir Xuanji and Demonic Eye Divine Lord began complimenting each other in a bid to dodge the attacks. They wanted to try their best to get the Divine Tree to attack them. The Divine Tree might not be drained of its strength, but it was likely that Yi Yun would be drained of his lifeblood. Ha 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 ha! Little bastard, you are still too young to have any hopes of killing me. Such a powerful god spirit is only this and nothing more in your hands. Demonic Eye Divine Lord said with a hearty laugh. He was deliberately trying to provoke Yi Yun, hoping that Yi Yun would attack him without any considerations. So, the Divine Tree charged straight at Demonic Eye Divine Lord, but he had predicted Yi Yun's attack trajectory. He dodged with a remarkable movement technique. I have already seen through your attack trajectories. The Tao Manifestation Realm is after all the Tao Manifestation Realm. It's too weak. Demonic Eye Divine Lord mocked wantily, but at that moment, there was an abrupt change in his expression. He watched helplessly as the Divine Tree did not retract after missing him. Instead, it continued in a powerful strike at the gigantic blood-colored skull. That was Demonic Eye Divine Lord's abode, also the spirit cruiser that all the members of the Fey Phantasm sect had ridden to the Azure Wood Great World. Previously, Demonic Eye Divine Lord had kept all his disciples and grand disciples, including the Supremacies, Yufehua and company into the blood-colored skull because of the Azure Wood Great World's impending explosion. But now, the Divine Tree had chosen to attack the skull after missing him. It was indescribable how horribly powerful the strike was. Demonic Eye Divine Lord's ability to dodge it did not mean that his disciples and grand disciples could do likewise. Little bastard, how dare you! Demonic Eye Divine Lord's eyes seemed to crack as he went into a frenzy. But in that split second, the Divine Tree's root had slammed heavily onto the skull's frontal bone just after he managed to finish uttering the first word. Although Demonic Eye Divine Lord's blood-colored skull was powerful, how could an abode-type enchanted treasure be comparable to an offensive or defensive treasure like blades, armor, or array flags? Even the six-street blood banner was unable to withstand the strike, not to mention the skull. Rumble The blood-colored skull's frontal bone directly exploded. The divine root curled straight into it in an indomitable fashion. Every structure in the skull abode was destroyed in a clean sweep. Energy storms swept wantonly through it and some juniors were immediately pulverized from the explosion. Although Yufehua was remarkably powerful, he was too weak in the storm that ensued. He was powerless to resist against it. Patriarch, save me! Yufehua uttered a tragic cry, but in an instant, he had been swept into the storm. He felt his body constantly tearing apart as a spray of blood burst out from his flesh. Yufehua felt his body being snapped and he even saw both his legs fly off. No! No! Yufehua yelled in despair but he could no longer make a sound as his consciousness began to fade away. He never expected that at the moment Yun was definitely doomed, he had suddenly controlled the divine tree to turn the tide of battle. Just a simple thought of Yun had smashed him to pieces. I can't accept it. That was Yufehua's final thought. In the next instant, he had been reduced to a mist of blood as he completely exploded apart. There was neither bone nor corpse left behind. In just an instant, all the Fey Phantasm sect juniors that had entered the door to the 33 skies were dead. Even supremacies were severely injured from the explosion. Although they were powerful people, they had been injured during the battle with the bronze giant while in battle formation. Fei Hua Daoist Yuming spat a mouthful of blood as he was sent flying dozens of kilometers back. As he watched his son die tragically, eventually turning into a mist of blood, his eyes flushed with killing intent as they turned red. Yu Feihua was the son he thought most highly of. But he had died in such a tragic manner. It was an instant kill. As for Daoist Yu Ming himself, the strike had hurt his life essence due to the previous injuries he had incurred. It was enough to affect his future attainments. Daoist Yu Ming was truly incensed. Chapter 1048, Vanquishing as Supremacy Translator, Cetullin Editor, Cetullin
Yi Yun, you little bastard, I, Yu Ming, swear upon my life that I will kill you by peeling off your skin and plucking out your tendons so as to avenge my son. Daoist Yu Ming had a rich sinister in attribute but weak yang attribute due to the cultivation of the Fei Phantasm sex techniques. By lacking in yang, it made his reproductive abilities limited. After all, to give birth to new life, one needed life force and lifeblood. How could a person filled with an air of death produce a child? It resulted in Daoist Yu Ming thinking very highly of Yu Fei Hua. The vendetta of his son's murder was absolutely irreconcilable. Upon hearing Daoist Yu Ming's words, Yi Yun's gaze turned cold. You want to peel my skin and pluck my tendons? I'll kill you first. Ian's killing intent amplified as the sword of the will, which was fused with the divine tree as one, suffused from his glabella. The divine root curled to the side and whizzed over at the next instant. Its target was clearly headed for Daoist Yu Ming. Daoist Yu Ming was lacking compared to demonic eye divine lord after all. Combined with the severe injuries he had received from before, there was no way for him to dodge the Divine Roots attack. Die! Daoist Yu Ming bellowed angrily as two curved blades appeared in his hands. He slashed his blades at the Divine Root but countless root filaments came stabbing at Daoist Yu Ming at that moment. Sha! 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 Black blade beams swept through the area with a large number of root filaments being severed by Daoist Yu Ming. However, the divine root suddenly changed trajectories again and came stabbing into Daoist Yu Ming's back. Sha! 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 The divine root's root filaments stabbed at Daoist Yu Ming like javelins and eventually, three of them managed to break through his blade screen that protected him. Pua pua pua! Daoist Yu Ming's protective Yuan Qi was directly penetrated, stabbing through his shoulder, abdomen, and chest in three distinct spots from the back. The fatal strike was not the one that pierced through his chest, but the one at Daoist Yu Ming's abdomen. It was where his Dantian was. Pying. At that instant, Daoist Yu Ming clearly heard his Dantian shatter. He watched helplessly as the bloodstained divine root pierced through his abdomen. His dantian had been destroyed by the divine root. A mouthful of coagulated blood spewed out of Daoist Yu Ming's mouth while all his strength had been drained. He grabbed the root filament that was covered in his own blood, eyes filled with enmity and indignance. He had just spoken of revenge, but immediately, his dantian was destroyed. Daoist Yu Ming's body convulsed as his consciousness gradually faded away. He was already not far from death. He refused to believe that there would come a day when he would perish under the hands of a junior despite being a supremacy. Boom! Daoist Yu Ming's corpse was flung out before crashing heavily into the ground like a broken bag of blood. Upon seeing this scene, everyone drew a gasp. A supremacy had died just like that. Although Daoist Yu Ming was not directly killed by Yi Yun, he had died because of him. No one would believe such a ridiculous matter anywhere outside, but it had turned into reality in this mystic zone. Escape All the young disciples of the Fei Phantasm sect had died while half-step supremacies were severely injured and on the brink of death. The remaining few supremacies lost their guts. A battle of such scale was horrifying. Against the divine tree which they could not put up any form of resistance, they were as helpless as a tiny boat in the middle of a torrential storm. The Faith Phantasm sect warriors fled helter-skelter. As for Demonic Eye Divine Lord, he was bordering on insanity. Ignoring the fact that the Faith Phantasm sect had lost so many elites in an instant, the blood-colored skull was one of his most valuable enchanted treasures. It was even more valuable than the Six Street Blood Banner. But now, it had been pulverized to nothingness by Yi Yun with a single strike. Demonic Eye Divine Lord's heart ached for his loss. He yearned to tear apart Yi Yun, but he could do nothing to him. Instead, it was very likely that he would be killed by the Divine Tree if he were not careful. At that moment, Demonic Eye and Shir Shuanji were at a loss. The latter had witnessed the tragedy of the Fei Phantasm sect and he had a lingering fear in him. 
He was even elated that he had not found the young disciples of the immortal rain sect in the door to the thirty-three skies. If he had brought them with him, they might have been wiped out as well. However, Shirshuanji did not know that the young disciples of the immortal rain sect had previously been wiped out by Yi Yun during a conflict from before. If he knew about it, Sher Xuanji would have vomited blood. As the Fei Phantasm sect was suffering utter chaos, Yi Yun's situation was not much better while inside the restricted zone. After refining the Divine Tree Seed, he had indeed possessed the ability to communicate with and borrow the Divine Tree's strength. However, the Divine Tree was a god spirit after all. To it, humans and Fei were no different from plants. Furthermore, the Divine Tree had yet to develop sentience. It only stood in its spot to witness the passage of time that spanned hundreds of millions of years. Eon's launch of attacks was ultimately controlled through the use of his will. The speed, trajectory and even strength of the attacks were largely dependent on Eon's mental strength. His mental strength was naturally incomparable to a divine lord's which made it very difficult for Yi Yun to kill Shi Xuanji and demonic Ai divine lord. Controlling the divine tree was extremely draining on his mental facilities. Just a few attacks were enough to make him feel an excruciating pain in his soul sea. It was hard for him to continue. Yi Yun frowned. Killing a supremacy was already his limit whereas killing a divine lord was impossible. Sure Xuanji and Demonic Eye Divine Lord had clearly realized this salient point. They had already opened up a distance and began using guerrilla tactics. At that juncture, no one had the upper hand against the other. However, Yi Yun could not remain in the Divine Tree's restricted zone forever. He still needed to gain experience in the outside world. He could at most increase his cultivation level by a few realms through the isolation of himself in a sealed environment before meeting a bottleneck. I'll save Master first. With a thought, the divine root that was holding Felicitous Rainlord was pulled back. Under Yi Yun's control, the door to the restricted zone did not stop the seriously injured Felicitous Rainlord's entry. He was sent right in. It, it's that senior. Yuang Sha and Chu he were surprised when an additional person suddenly appeared in the restricted zone. Yuang Sha had recognized Felicitous Rain Lord but compared to his striking appearance from before, he looked terrible. Master! With a flash of his figure, Yi Yun had appeared outside the Chaos Stone House. Under a large tree, Felicitous Rain Lord was leaning against it. There was no spot on him that remained fine. More importantly, his lifeblood was on the decline. Clearly, the battle from before had injured Felicitous Rain Lord's life essence. Although it was possible for him to slowly recover through the use of precious herbal treasures, it was still possible for him to suffer from reticent injuries that could affect his future attainments. Yi Yun, well done. Well done. After Felicitous Rain Lord entered the restricted zone, he did not tend to his wounds but instead laughed loudly as he looked at Yi Yun. For nine leaf Dao fruits, with every one of them a great Dao. The Dao fruits you condensed has far exceeded mine of yesteryear. It has also surpassed everyone in the 10,000 Fei Empery in heaven. Now, you have refined the nebulous primordial chaos and have awakened this god spirit that holds up a large world. As a disciple, you have lived up to my expectations. Or I should say that taking you in as my disciple is considered my good luck. Felicitous Rain Lord had high standards. Back when he recruited disciples, it was without focused intention. He did not believe that he could find a personal disciple immediately. Taking a million years to find a suitable disciple was considered not bad for a divine lord. Felicitous Rain Lord had never imagined that he would find a monster like Yi Yun. Chapter 1049, Divine Tree's Bizarre Transformation Translator, Sitalan Editor, Sitalan Ian knew that Felicitous Rain Lord's injuries were severe and that it was unlikely he could recover from it even if he were given a long period of time. The sense of gratitude he had was something he remembered secretly in his heart. If there came a chance in the future for his attainments to surpass Felicitous Rain Lord, he would definitely aid Felicitous Rain Lord into attaining a higher level. 
Other than Felicitous Rainlord, there were Eldershire and Elder Duanmu from the Luo clan. The two elders had risked their lives to protect him under the Fae Phantasm sex assault. If possible, he wanted to provide them a great life-changing opportunity. Just as Yi Yun was having such thoughts. Boom! The door to the 33 skies trembled once again as the ground where the divine tree rooted itself produced a tumultuous reverberation. Eun faltered for a moment for he was connected to the divine tree in spirit and mind. He could clearly sense that at the intersection of the divine roots deep underground, the trapped bronze giant had begun struggling. With gigantic axe in hand, he was slashing at the divine tree's root filaments in a bid to escape. With the bronze giant's struggles, the ground began to crack. The azure wood great world which the divine tree rooted itself into became unstable as though it would continue to explode. This. Eun's expression turned solemn as he held his breath. It would definitely be a calamity the moment the azure wood great world exploded. And at that moment, Eun could clearly sense that the divine tree had instinctively begun to divert its energy toward resisting the bronze giant. His control over the divine tree was beginning to wane. At that moment, Sher Xuanji and Demonic Eye had also acutely noticed this salient point. The ground was quaking as the bronze giant bellowed an angry roar from deep underground. The divine tree's roots began boring back down into the ground. Upon seeing this, the duo exchanged gleeful glances. They were of the impression that they could do nothing to Yi Yun, but they never expected that the bronze giant would begin struggling. The world was again facing the possibility of destruction. If the bronze giant were powerful enough, it could result in an internecine outcome. By letting the destruction continue, there would be a space-time storm that would immediately erupt from the terrifying explosion that accompanied the complete destruction of the world. In such a calamity, it was impossible for Yi Yun to survive. As for the two of them, they could capture Yi Yun in the space-time storm and rob Yi Yun of his nebulous, primordial chaos. It was even possible that Yi Yun had discovered heritage belonging to the black-dressed woman in the restricted zone. In that case, the heritage would be theirs. They had already decided to first extract Yi Yun's soul to read his memories before dicing him up. They refused to believe that Yi Yun could still hide any secret in such a situation. Also, Felicitous Rain, you will have to die as well. Demonic Eye smiled sinisterly. He was yearning to charge out and skin both Master and Disciple alive before refining their souls into the Soul Banner. Yi Yun, what happened? In the restricted zone, Yu Ingsha and Chu Yi had also sensed the trembling of the ground. Felicitous Rain Lord's expression turned solemn as he had sensed that the world was quickly on the brink of complete collapse. The bronze giant is too strong after having accumulated strength over a hundred million years. As for the divine tree's strength, it's probably on the decline. Eun even suspected that it was possible that the divine tree's lifespan was coming to an end. Over the hundreds of millions of years, the divine tree spent most of its time in slumber. If it was a powerful and vibrant life, why would it be? Sleeping? Perhaps the reason for its slumber was because the divine tree had little life remaining. And it was because of this reason that the divine tree had produced a seed. The divine tree seed's new life also signified the old divine tree's destruction. Master, although I have awoken the divine tree's power, the last bit of energy the divine tree accumulated has probably been drained. If this continues on, the azure wood great world might face destruction. Yi Yun's words drained the color from Yu Ingsha and Shu Yi's faces. The Azure Wood Great World was about to disappear? At that moment, Felicitous Rain Lord straightened his body in with a gaze that was as sharp as a sword, he said, Yi Yun, if the Azure Wood Great World were to collapse, wouldn't you face certain death by staying here? Leave this place with me and I'll entrust you to Rhyme Divine Lord. She will ensure your safety. Leave? Master, you are already seriously injured. You will be sending yourself to your death the moment you leave. Yi Yun shook his head resolutely. He knew that Felicitous Rain Lord had said those words because he was already determined to die in battle. 
At this juncture, there was indeed no way out for them. Yi Yuan sensed that his control over the divine tree was rapidly weakening. He gritted his teeth and focused all his Yuan Qi to the divine tree seed. His sword of the will was shot into it as he made a final bet. However, he was still unable to use his will to affect the divine tree into doing something. Boom! 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 The large world was collapsing. Mountains crumbled as the lands cracked open and spewed apocalyptic fumes out. Large boulders began lifting off the ground as they were sucked by an invisible force into the sky. It was as though the world was disintegrating. Ka ka ka! Cracks began to appear in empty space as spatial storms rushed out of those rifts. Wherever they passed, large boulders would be ground into dust. This was true annihilation. The destructive force of a large world was really appalling objects that were disintegrated within would not leave any traces behind. That was the true law of destruction. Eun, I'm afraid we have no way out of this. At that moment, even Felicitous Rain Lord could sense the ailing of the divine tree. The god spirit that propped up the large world had finally awoken, but was it just a sudden spurt of radiance prior to its collapse? It compelled them with regret. Despite being at death's doorstep, Felicitous Rain Lord did not feel any sense of fear. Regardless of what he had to face, all he needed to do was fight valiantly at the cost of his life. What was unfortunate was that he would not be able to see the peak of martial arts. He was worried if Yi Yun would be able to escape alive, as well as Xu Wei Ningxuang. Could her cultivation level be able to withstand the forces of the world's destruction? Yi Yun remained silent as he was focused on the divine tree seed, hoping for a miracle to happen. Gradually, Yi Yun sensed that his vision seemed to become that of the seeds. He could perceive the energy around his surroundings and also sense his own body, as well as the connection between his body and the divine tree. Ian's mental energy was already insufficient so there was no way for him to control the divine tree. However, Ian suddenly sensed a conscious stir from the divine tree. It was as if, the divine tree was transmitting information to him? Ian held his breath. The divine tree may lack intelligence, but it had its own thoughts. Yun could sense a clear feeling of love and well wishes from that thought. Love? Yun faltered slightly before he immediately realized that the love and well wishes were not for him, but for the divine tree seed that had already fused with him. Yes, the divine tree was giving well wishes to the seed that it had produced. It was bidding it farewell. Was it time to finally bid farewell to the seed that it had produced? Just as this thought flashed across Eun's mind. Pa! With the sound of a light crack, the divine tree seed in Eun's Yuan Foundation suddenly sprouted. An extremely tiny sapling extended out and seemed to merge with Eun's Dantian. It began to absorb all the energy in Eun's Dantian, immobilizing him. He couldn't even think. Such a situation had happened before, and since it was a time of need, Eun did not resist. He allowed the seed to absorb his energy to grow. It was not only limited to Eun's energy, even the remnant energy in the Azure Wood Great World was gathering towards Eun like it was being sucked into a gigantic vortex. Typically, such a terrifying energy vortex would have caused Eun's body to explode. But miraculously, Eun's meridians were able to withstand the cleansing surge from the tremendous amount of energy. Eun found himself completely immobile. He could not even blink. Despite being unable to move, he could clearly sense that his meridians were turning thicker and stronger as insane amounts of energy passed through them. Even his bones, flesh and blood were being tempered like they were divine metal that was being struck. Everything was becoming firmer. He suddenly realized that in the divine tree's final farewell, it had transmitted all its life essence to the seed. The divine tree was truly about to die. Yi Yun felt a deep sense of sorrow. It came not only from the bottom of his heart, but it also came from the divine tree seed. His emotions had become one with the divine tree seed. And this bout of sorrow quickly transformed into killing intent that came from the divine tree. 
At that moment, the divine tree moved. It was not because it was controlled by Yi Yun, but because it was moving by itself. Yi Yun's heart leaped. He could sense the terrifying powers that came from the divine tree. It had been slumbering for hundreds of millions of years, and all the power it had accumulated blasted out at that instant. Without needing to prop up the Azure Wood Great World any further, there was no need for it to conserve its energy, nor did it need to use sleep to extend its life. The divine tree was consuming itself and erupting every strength it had. And at that moment, outside the restricted zone, Demonic Eye Divine Lord had summoned all the supremacies back, including half-step supremacies that were nearly dead. With the situation having developed this far, the Faith Phantasm sect had been the ones that had managed to preserve their strength the best on this expedition to the Azure Wood Great World. The other sects had suffered terrible losses. Demonic Eye Divine Lord took out another mobile abode once again. Although it was inferior to the blood-colored skull from before, it was still able to be a vessel for his underlings. All of you enter. Ha ha ha, I'll bring all of you out. On this expedition to the Azure Wood Great World, it appears our Fae Phantasm sect is the final victor. Demonic Eye Divine Lord roared with laughter. The Fae Phantasm sect had basically been preserved. As long as Ziyun was killed, Demonic Eye Divine Lord would obtain the opportunity Ziyun had gained. He would then naturally be the victor. How wise of the Patriarch! The Faith Phantasm Sect Supremacies fawned. Although they had suffered terribly when they had entered the blood colored skull from before, they did not hesitate on entering the second mobile abode another time. It stemmed from the trust they had of Demonic Eye Divine Lord. All of them heaved a sigh of relief after entering the abode. With Demonic Eye Divine Lord's protection, they would be able to safely survive the calamity of the world's collapse. A complacent smile suffused on Demonic Eye Divine Lord's face. As he extended his hand to summon the abode into his body, he suddenly felt a grave sense of danger. Death had reared its head as it came attacking. He abruptly turned his head to take a look and saw a gigantic divine root burrow out of the ground beneath him as it hurled straight for him. What? Demonic Eye Divine Lord was alarmed. Yi Yun could still control the divine tree? Chapter 1050, Driven into an Impasse Translator, C. Tullin Editor, C. Tullin the divine tree's root burrowed out from under demonic eye divine lord's feet, and with tremendous strength, it struck at him like a primordial ancient fae. A cold glimmer flashed across demonic eye divine lord's eyes. He attempted summoning his abode to dodge, but his expression immediately changed. He was appalled to discover that the surrounding space around him had been sealed. He was unable to move. Furthermore, the Divine Roots attack was more than ten times faster than before. How could this be? Demonic Eye Divine Lord's expression turned ashen. Despite the great changes happening to the Azure Wood Great World and the Divine Tree being on the brink of death, why was it still able to suddenly produce an attack that far exceeded its prior attacks? Furthermore, how could Yun, who was a junior at the Tao Manifestation, be able to produce such an attack that even sealed the space around him? preventing him from dodging. At that split instant, without time for careful thought, Demonic Eye Divine Lord disregarded everything and punched himself in the chest, forcing himself to spew out a mouthful of blood essence. Pua! The blood essence sprayed on the six streak blood banner before it was completely absorbed. He used his blood essence to feed the wraiths inside the six streak blood banner. Woo 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 woo! The specters wailed as a sinister wind blew. The 600 million souls inside the Six Street Blood Banner were released at once by Demonic Eye Divine Lord. They formed into a gigantic Six Street Demon God that rushed at the Divine Root. However, the disparity in strength was too great. This was no longer the Divine Tree that was controlled by Yi Yun but a powerful attack of the Divine Tree that was powered from hundreds of millions of years of accumulation. Boom! With a loud explosion, the Six Street Demon God Phantom disintegrated as 600 million specters were annihilated. Demonic Eye Divine Lord spewed out a mouthful of blood as his body flew backward like a broken sack. 
The divine root did not lose its momentum as it slammed at the mobile abode that was behind demonic eye divine lord. The poor fey phantasm sect supremacies had entered the mobile abode a second time because of their trust in demonic eye divine lord. However, they ended up becoming a lone target for the divine tree. They were lucky to have survived the first attack because of the limited control the Yun had on the divine tree, but there was no longer any chance for them to survive a second time. Boom! With a tumultuous explosion, the massive mobile abode shattered like a chicken egg being struck by a gigantic warhammer in the face of the divine root. The severely injured half-step supremacies inside the abode did not even manage to utter a grunt before they disintegrated. The supremacies were in a slightly better situation. They were able to let out a scream of despair, but there was no way to change their fatal outcomes. Up to their deaths, they did not understand how Yi Yun had managed to control the divine tree at the final moment. Furthermore, the strike was more than ten times stronger than before. Ah! Seeing the Fei Phantasm sect supremacies he led wiped out without even minced pieces left remaining. Demonic Eye Divine Lord's eyes seemed to crack. On the expedition to the Azure Wood Great World, the Fey Phantasm sect had sent a huge lineup. They had the most number of experts, but now, he was the only one left. It was an insufferable and unprecedented loss. And it was even possible that he would die himself. He could already see the Divine Root retracting before it would hurl back at his head and at that moment, he had already burned his blood essence. The Sixth Street blood banner had been completely destroyed. What else did he have left to parry the attack? Was this really controlled by Eun? Demonic Eye Divine Lord found it unbelievable. Let us join forces and tear open the void. At that moment, Sir Xuanji's yell rang in Demonic Eye Divine Lord's ear. Sir Xuanji was also sensing death creeping up on him. He wanted to flee, but there was nowhere to flee to. There was only one possibility. By taking advantage of the weakness of space during the world's collapse, he and Demonic Eye Divine Lord would be able to escape by breaking through the void. However, just as Sir Xuanji said those words, the Divine Root suddenly turned and shot toward Sir Xuanji. Sir Xuanji was momentarily dumbfounded. He was courting death by shouting his intention. Nine Heavens Reign Annihilation Array. With his life on the line, Sir Xuanji also forced out a mouthful of blood essence as he brandished the sword in his hand to produce endless rain and wind that slashed at the divine root. Kacha. Sir Xuanji's sword beam immediately shattered the moment it struck the divine root. At the next moment, the divine root had shattered Sir Xuanji's protective Yuan Qi, striking him in the face. Sir Xuanji let out a tragic scream as his body flew out like a polo ball that was struck by a mallet. His facial bones shattered, his eyeballs cracked, and all of his teeth dropped off. His face had been mangled into a mess. Was this really a strength that belonged to Eun? Impossible. Impossible. Sir Xuanji screamed in his heart. But at that moment, Demonic Eye Divine Lord had already lost all will to fight. Would the Divine Tree allow him escape by giving him a chance to tear open the void? Run! Demonic Eye Divine Lord ignored Sir Xuanji as he quickly flew towards the boundary of the world. However, the Divine Tree encompassed the entire world. It was omnipresent. Swish! 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 There were constantly divine roots boring out of the ground. With his soul banner destroyed, Demonic Eye Divine Lord could only block them using his ghostly claws. However, these ghostly claws were as weak as spider webs in the face of the divine roots. They were all destroyed in a clean sweep. Pua! Demonic Eye Divine Lord's protective Yuan Qi was ripped through as a divine root pierced through his chest like a skewer, leaving him connected to the ground. Boom! The ground began to collapse as Demonic Eye Divine Lord was sent deep into the ground along with the Divine Root. He spewed out mouthfuls of fresh blood as he frantically struggled. However, in front of the Divine Root, he could not put up any form of resistance. As for Sir Xuanji, he too had been wrapped by a Divine Root. 
Together with Demonicai Divine Lord, he plummeted deep underground as bloody bone was exposed where his face was. It was gruesome and horrifying. My strength is being drained. Demonicai Divine Lord suddenly realized that the Divine Tree was draining his life force. It seemed to be draining the last bit of energy they had in order to seal the bronze giant. High in the sky, Rhyme Divine Lord watched the scene in astonishment. She originally believed that Yi Yun was certainly doomed, but she had never expected that such a shocking reversal would happen at the final moment. Impressive figures like Shi Xuanji and Demonicai Divine Lord had suffered a calamity today. Even if none of this was done by Yi Yun, it definitely had something to do with him. At that moment, the ground began to produce countless cracks. The entire Azure Wood Great World was on the brink of rupturing. Even the tiny world in the Divine Tree could feel the aftershocks from the world's collapse. Cracks began to appear as it began to connect to the external world. The chaotic storms immediately swept over but Felicitous Rainlord hurriedly conjured a Yuan Qi shield, enclosing Yuingsha and Shu He within. Yi Yun Just as Felicitous Rainlord turned to take a look, a bigger storm emerged in the tiny world. Felicitous Rainlord was already severely injured so he was immediately swept away by the storm. Felicitous Rainlord could see past the storm and realized that Yi Yun was in the eye of the storm. His eyes were closed tightly and a nervous look appeared on his face. The Azure Wood Great World was about to be destroyed at any moment and being the support of the Azure Wood Great World, the Divine Tree could no longer prop it up any longer. As for Yi Yun, he had expended the last bit of his mental energy. His soul sea was severely depleted. He could not even move a finger. 